advice for dungeon masters, games masters, storytellers, whatever you refer to it as, they all mean the same thing. Dungeon master is the original term, games master is my preferred term, so GM rather than DM. Um, I think that's just because that was the one I kind of grew up with more with RuneQuest. Also, it's not always going to be dungeons. Come on, it just gets Dungeons and Dragons, sometimes you want a dragon without a dungeon. Nice and simple. Also, Storyteller is another one. That one was coined by um, World of Darkness. I know that's my brother's preferred term when he runs a game, Storyteller, rather than Dungeon Master or Games Master. So, it's whatever you prefer. But, advice number three. And this is actually just kind of creative advice. When you open a book for the first time, uh, once you've kind of got your head around me the mechanics, or at least read them a little bit, uh, once you know how combat works and skill works, create a character. Create a character yourself. Don't invite someone to build a character. You get the character sheet and the book, and you work through that to see how the character is built. Follow the in-game advice. Follow it step by step all the way through. And you will see how it works. Um, I've done it dozens of times where I've been a player in a game and the GM hasn't written up a character themselves and you can spot it straight away that they're kind of muddling their way through character creation. As the, uh, as the games master GM, it is your responsibility to help your players build their character because they don't necessarily know the system or the setting that you're about to run, especially if you're running a homebrew setting, which is all of my settings. I've never run a um, a book. Like that. that said, I'd love to try running um, uh, House of Strahd. That looks quite fun. So maybe when my players are a bit higher level, I'll just throw that at them. But if you don't know how to create a character, you can't advise them properly. Also, if you build a character, you can roll through things. You can go... Okay, so if there's a lockbox, I look at that skill, roll that dice, that would fail. Okay. And then you kind of get an idea of how the numbers fit together, how everything works. So much better from a player's perspective. And that's what you've got to think. The game is not being played from your perspective. The game is being played from their perspective. You know how things should go because you wrote it. They don't. And if they do, they shouldn't matter. Right, so write up a character sheet. First things first. There we go. Thanks very much, and see you next video. Bye.